Penlin, and I'm the founder and president of Fitness and Friends. I'm Lisa, I'm the treasurer. And I'm Brian, and I'm one of the events coordinators. So for my entire life, I've strived to be a well-rounded student. I've worked hard in school, I've gone to as many extracurricular activities as possible, and also I've tried to be very social. But the one thing that, that I really neglected was my health. And that ended up really catching up to me. So by the time I came to CMC, I wanted to prioritize my health. But as you all probably know, sometimes CMC isn't the best place for your health. With those late night study sessions, Colin snack and the hub french fries and mozzarella sticks, and just a pretty high stress environment in general, it can be really hard to find yourself feeling good. And so I saw a lot of students trying to stay away from this and trying to stay healthy, but they were all doing it alone. So I figured that this would be a great opportunity to form a community around being healthy. So I got together with my friends and I asked them if they would be interested and they were super excited about it. So we went for a hike, which is where this photo is from. It's from our first hike as Fitness and Friends. And on this hike, we realized that this could actually be a community on campus, that we could really make this into something. And since then, we have worked so hard to create it into a real club. We came back to campus and we got some funding from DOS and we came, became a real club. And since then, our club has grown exponentially. So like Kenlin was describing, college campuses and CMC specifically don't always perpetuate a culture that focuses on wellness. We're staying up late working hard and we might be engaging in unhealthy coping mechanisms and this isn't what Fitness and Friends is here for. We're here to combat that and we want to create an inclusive community that embraces health and wellness as an integral part of a thoughtful and productive life. Here at CMC, we're getting ready to go out into the world and lead a thoughtful and productive life and it's time we realize that being healthy and well is a part of that. So in order to make this mission a reality, we have a diverse array of events to make this possible. So some of them are on-campus inclusivity, outdoors and nature, off-campus, as well as party alternatives. So some highlights in the past couple weeks from these are, on the night of Toga, we took a group to Boomer's Upland and we had um, go-kart racing and arcade games for those that didn't want to do Toga. And then we also had a dog-themed weekend in which one day we walked faculty's dogs. So we had some DOS dogs, some teacher's dogs, and then we also visited an animal shelter that weekend and pet some really cute puppies. And so far, we've been doing a pretty good job. We have around 200 students in our Facebook group, which is about 15% of CMC's, fa stu CMC's student body. Um, but we do recognize health is something for everyone, and we do want to increase those numbers and reach more people. And we're really doing that in three different ways. So first of all, digital marketing. Um, I'm sure you guys probably experienced a ton of informs. We are a very <laughs> email-heavy school, and we're really trying to target students another way by reaching them through their Instagrams, reminding them to stay healthy, and updating them about our events through our Facebook. Also, we're lucky to have a pretty enthusiastic club where people want to bring their friends along and participate in our activities. And last of all, we're trying to keep our members from event to event, from week to week. And we're doing that through our little stamp cards, which are very similar to what you might get at Yogurt Land. And so basically, at the end of the semester, if you attend 10 events, you'll get free apparel. So as Lisa was saying, we've really tried to expand our club, and with the growing needs, we've had to expand our governance structure. So this year, we have four events coordinators, and they really work on creating amazing events that everyone wants to go to. And then we have a treasurer to keep um, our funds in line, and then chief recruitment officer, because it is our goal to reach every single student on this campus. We know that this is a priority for our students, and we want to be there to help them through their health and wellness. And then we have a director of social media, because once again, as Lisa said, that's our main form of communication with students. And then a chief strategic officer, because as we've moved forward, we've realized how fast it's growing, and we want to make sure that as we grow, we stay in line with our mission and values, and we move forward in the best possible way. We also have been fortunate enough to have a lot of freshmen come to our events. So throughout the year, we are slowly empowering them to become the next leaders of the club. And that's how we want to perpetuate this club on campus, just by having people become very passionate about it and becoming leaders, so always influencing the next generation to take control of the club. And now that we have a solid foundation and we're in our second year of our club, we've really been thinking about who we want to be on campus a couple years down the line. And for us, our vision is to foster a campus culture that empowers, supports, and celebrates students on their journey towards holistic health and wellness. 
And for us, this vision is really three-pronged. First of all, recognizing that health is beyond just the physical and nutritional, but there are a lot of different holistic aspects to it, such as mental, sexual, etc., and recognizing that there's more to health than just physical, as well as recognizing the backgrounds of our student body and realizing that some people might not have all these resources that we have on campus going forward in life, as well as they didn't have them before. Um, second of all is empowerment, and really having students feel like they're in control of their health and they can see and influence where it's going. And so being a student-run and member-driven club. And lastly, support. Since we are students, we do want to recognize our limitations as students and being able to foster, um, foster relationships on campus to point students in need to better, more built-out resources when needed. So like Lisa was describing, the first of these components is diversity. Diversity means a whole lot more than just physical health, and we're really hoping to make that message clear on campus. So three of the types of health we're really looking forward to focusing on this year are mental, nutritional, and sexual. So in terms of mental health, right now we're actually doing a 30-day meditation challenge. So we're challenging students on campus to every day for 30 days, meditate for three minutes or more, and there's weekly prizes, and we really want students to take this time to check in with themselves and see how they're doing. Um, in terms of nutritional health, our goal this year is to bring a nutritionist to campus to hopefully debunk some popular food myths and talk about what a well-rounded, healthy, nutritional diet actually looks like. For sexual health, we're looking forward to partnering with groups on campus like CMC Advocates for a sex week and to also put on other sex workshops because sexual health is a big component of health that is really often overlooked. The second component, component is empowerment, so really having students feel in control of their health as well as a part of the club. And so this year we have a new Google form where we're soliciting ideas from students to see what they want and need in terms of their health routine, as well as having more peer-led classes, peer-led events. And ultimately the goal of this is to build in sustainable habits so that when people leave CMC that these habits will continue with them past college and into the real world. So then our last part of our vision is support. So we try to do this within the club by creating a really non-judgmental space where people can just come and be their authentic selves, which I definitely think we set the precedent for. And then outside of that, we want to work with other groups on campus. There are so many amazing resources here, and we don't want to pretend like we can do this alone. So we're trying to partner with a lot of different clubs on campus, and we already have events like going to the boxing club events and squash club. And we also just collaborated yesterday with Stark Hall, who had a health and wellness event. So we got to go get, give them smoothies and talk about fitness and friends. And then the last thing is administrative encouragement. So we've gotten so much support from the Dean of Students. And we are so lucky because Jess Nielsen has just come on as the Dean of Health and Wellness. So we're planning on working with her a lot. And then we've also been working with um, health outreach um, the 5C community um, resource as well. So I just like to close by saying that I love fitness and friends. It has been one of my favorite aspects of CMC. Um, and I've gotten to meet some of my best friends and really create an amazing community on campus. And I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Thank you so much.